What's good, YouTube? It's your boy DJ Liftoff, and you don't want to miss this flight. Now, in today's video, we have another scratch pattern breakdown. This time, first time this DJ is hitting the channel, DJ Ragoza. I'll have all his stuff in the description below. Definitely check him out. He's a great, great, phenomenal professional DJ that you can learn a lot from, especially scratch pattern wise. Let's get right into it. Hey. All right, so there is the scratch pattern. As you can see, super duper fast. I can't even do it that fast, that cleanly yet. So I'm gonna do it at a different BPM. Then I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like without the beat. Then we'll break it down. Let's get into it. All right, DJs, there is the scratch pattern with a beat and without it, just a little bit slowed down so it's more digestible. I know some of you are intermediate DJs, so you might be able to break this whole thing down on your own. However, if you do want the step-by-step, -step, let's go ahead and break it down, literally starting at the beginning. There are two places in this scratch pattern where you can basically just freestyle. That's gonna be at the very beginning, kind of like an intro before the actual scratch pattern starts. And then at the very end, you have one beat to kind of just do whatever you want so the first part is going to be the intro so the actual scratch pattern starts here at this kind of back reverse or this reverse stab right here so that's going to actually be your one so i'm just going to count this first part out just so you can understand that this is where the actual scratch pattern starts as far as the one one e and a two all right, so like I said in the beginning, with this scratch pattern, you have a little bit of freestyle room before we get to that one. But you wanna make sure on that fourth beat that you're actually just dropping whatever song you have. I also recommend using something with a little bit of space, like you don't wanna use a kick or a clap. You wanna have preferably a vocal um, that has a little bit of sound to it so you can do this scratch pattern. So let's just say we have this. One and two and three and four. Okay, so you see on that four, I just let it go. One and two and three and four and one. All right, so again, you can do whatever you wanna do. Two baby scratches, chirp, crab, flares, whatever you wanna do, make sure you drop it on that four. Now we're gonna get to the one. So the first part of the scratch pattern looks like this. Okay, so that's what we have. So we're starting with our crossfader close. We have a reverse stab where we're gonna pull back quickly on our vinyl and then we're just gonna give the crossfader a click. Now once you're right here, essentially you're just gonna be doing transformers for the most part from here. So the next thing we have is we're gonna just have a transformer one click going forward like this. We're gonna catch the vinyl, close that crossfader, then we have two clicks back. And then now we have this. Okay, so I know that was a lot, so let's go ahead and break that down. So if I'm gonna count this out, we have one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four. So essentially all you're doing once you get here, you just have a dice scratch. So what this is gonna be is we're gonna start with our crossfader close. We're gonna let this vinyl go, go forward, open the crossfader and do a click. And you can see we're immediately closing, closing the crossfader. Then we're gonna pull back on the vinyl. Same thing, open and close the crossfader with a click. So it just looks just like this. And when you do this, you can pretty much kind of be creative with this. You can decide to go fast like this. Or you can go a little bit slower. In Ragoza's video, he goes a little bit slower in the whole, this whole entire part is really, really smooth. So it just depends on how you wanna do it. So right after that, essentially we just have a lot of transformers. We're doing that repetitively. So we have this. So we have a few of these. So with this, all we're doing is we start with our crossfader close. We're gonna push on the vinyl or kind of just do like a forward scratch, let the vinyl go. Open the crossfader, close the crossfader, two clicks back, same thing. Oh, 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 oh,
So let me go ahead and show you that and count it so you know how many you need to do. One E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the one E and a two E and a three. So once we get to that three, this is what we have from there. Okay, so three E and a four. So this is exactly the same exact thing. The only thing that's different is when we get to that three, we're letting the sound play a little bit longer instead of doing this. We're going. So instead of da da da, we have da da da. So we have da 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 da, and then eventually on that three we have da da da. Now we're at that four right here is where you can do whatever you like. I kind of like to do um a crab sometimes, so I'll go four e and a one. Okay, so that finishes the entire scratch pattern. You could also just do something like this four e and a one. So that would be like. 3E and a 4E and a 1. You could also do stab scratches here like this. 3E and a 4E and a 1. So whatever you want to do right there, completely up to you. All right, DJ, so there is the full scratch pattern. So to help you um, kind of understand it more, I'm going to be doing it over a beat, but much slower. So the beat's actually going to be the same exact speed as Ragoza's video. However, I'm going to do it half the speed that he was doing it at. So let's take a look at that. All right, DJ, so there you have it. Again, that is the full scratch pattern, slow way down to halftime. So if you want to be able to do this the exact way that Ragoza did it, you have to do the same exact thing, but twice as fast. So that's going to take a lot of practice. So I recommend trying it maybe at halftime first here then maybe going to 80 to 90 and then doing it at those speeds and then once you're really comfortable then you could try it um at the double time or like yeah pretty much double time at the 72 bpm however that is the full video if you enjoyed it which i hope you did please press that subscribe button leave me a comment um comments i feel like always help so definitely leave a comment if you can also turn on that notification bell so you know the next time that i upload all right, DJ, so there it. All right, DJ, so again, there is the full scratch pattern. Now, I'm actually doing this. This last time I did it, this is in. I'm not even gonna say all that. All right, DJ. So if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and press that like button. Please leave a comment as well. Comments definitely help the channel out. Also hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you know the next time that I upload a video. And without further ado, I will catch y'all on the next flight. Shout out, 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 shout out